Hi everybody, Sunny Bonani. Welcome to my channel. And on this channel, I spoke about my reality shows. A to Allah, I'm Zanti. Best is Allah. So cool, man. Allah, my show. See, I'm pinned up for the school. Man, I'm a celebrity. This guy, I'm a YouTuber. A to Allah, I'm Zanti. If it is your first time joining me today and you really love my content, there is a subscribe button. Langa Zanti, please press it. Can't get there's other ways to support the channel. There's a thanks button. There's a like button. Can't get food to the adverts on this video. Please watch an advert for so guys have i got a review for you this week okay listen we say it's a little episode corner but say food sick about you but it's about the trap oh color for no reason yay it's rama ya labo and is a lava i'm going to come below london london my sister i love and is a lava about time to travel it felt like that this episode anyway you guys listen I was hoping that the purpose of this trip would be to actually get people together to sit down and be like, guys, listen, let's talk about the issues that we have with each other. What do you have? What are you upset about? Who do you think owes you an apology? Who do you think you owe an apology to? That by the time they leave this trip, maybe there will be like some sort of an understanding, even though we do like the drama because the drama is nice. It's entertaining, but I don't feel like it's happening in this trip. Maybe in the next episode, this episode was not it. Okay. The drama was continuing with, it was like a scuba coin. Okay. So they're going to nice now. And the person that has organized the trip is Usli, but obviously nobody knows that she is the host of the trip. And because she did not want people to know because some people might not have come. I think that was a, a, a perfect plan, you guys. And I think that was a plan by the producers to say, listen, we need everybody to show up for this shoot. So for everybody to show up, let's see if there is a sort of a neutral person that can invite them. Because there is the thing, your good team, even though Sorisha is not getting along with everybody, but everybody respects Sorisha. So if she invites them, they're going to come, regardless of the fact that they might have issues with uh, her. But if it's Lee, it's going to be something else, okay? And already Unoku has issues with Usli. And then if now she's feeling like Usli just got here and already she's organizing a trip, it's going to be a problem, okay? So they traveled to Naisna. I think they took like two planes to get there and then they everybody was flying. So there were no issues there. You know, there were no helicopters and no helicopters <laughs> who drove then whatever. They traveled the same. And they get there and they get into some cars, nice cars, equally nice cars. So nobody was complaining about transportation. Transportation was sorted. It was okay, uh, this trip. So I guess that's how they're supposed to do it every trip if they don't want drama excuse me about transportation okay so and then uh, they separated in uh three cars there is Unonku, Ujojo, Uruan in one car there is maria sorisha and any and then there is umbali usane and nosli okay perfect separation okay i i guess they were trying to make sure that people don't kill each other before they get to the trip they can kill each other they at nice now <laughs> And what what was the results? Personal results. They can kill each other there, but they didn't want anybody to kill anybody on the way there. So they made sure that they mix them up in that way. So they 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 traveling that way. You know, obviously there's some gossip. You know, you on a trip, so guys, you remember that Sorisha Sorisha's event? What happened? Whatever they're talking about that. They're talking about Sorisha's dog event. The event is Zinja. <laughs> <laughs> so they talk about what happened there. Remember, they tried to get an apology out of George, which I don't think it's a good idea because George is never going to give them the apology that they deserve after her behavior at Drakensberg. They say she did not apologize. So I guess they were, who, who were they updating? Who was not there? Who was not? Oh, Sane was not there. Uh, but the others were just talking, I guess. And uh, they're just talking about the fact that she did not apologize. Instead, she brought up the fact that her husband is going for surgery, which they feel like it was just an excuse to not talk about the real issues that they wanted to talk about, which was the fact that she behaved a certain way there and did not apologize to the women. Okay, fine. A uh, group no 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 jojo no ruani they're talking about the fact that everybody else and uh, they're kissing people's uh, behinds and all of that talking about the other group 
which is i guess they're referring to legal to kissing sorisha and annie's uh, behind but i'm like girl but you're not the one to talk because you you are busy kissing this uh, uh, girls uh, behind too which which is oh uh, george it's uh, it's like oh no um is not able to self-reflect sometimes i th- i guess that's why there's uh, such good friends with you george because george it does no self-reflection at all you guys at some point as a person you have to say good you know what guys it was wrong of me to do a s- a b c you know i still feel hurt by d and e but i i shouldn't have done a b c you know so if you're somebody that doesn't do any self-reflection, you're not going to be able to do that. Ujojo is like that. So I feel like Unonku at times, I feel like now she struggles with that because now you are kissing Jojo's behind, but you're complaining about Usli kissing, you know, those other girls behind, which she is now, you know. And I think Usli and I have seen, okay, this is a group that if I get along with these people, I'll probably last longer here, you know, instead of just trying to rebuild this friendship with uh, Unonku, you guys. But overall, I think the traveling was okay, except for that gossip that uh, came up, you guys. And of course, Umbali is still upset with Unoko about what Unoko said. So I was looking forward to uh, see them have uh, that conversation, you guys. And anyway, I honestly think that they must just forget about this thing of wanting Ujojo to apologize, honestly, because I don't think that it's going to come. There is no scene that we are going to see on Real Housewives where Ujojo is going to take accountability, is going to take a responsibility. As We're not going to see it. And they've tried a number of times. So also, I feel like even them just talking about uh, getting an apology from a church is just a waste of time because it's not going to happen. But I guess Mona, they are still hope- hopeful with him. Uh, it's going to happen. Oh, Maria uh, says, Wutu Jojo is a hit, run, and cry. Perfect description of Jojo. Hit, run, and cry. You know? Because when you try and confront Jojo, like, and thinking what you're going to have an other conversation with her, then she throws things and then runs away and then everybody goes to comfort her and then she's crying and then it's all about her. That's how she describes it. However, you guys, I'm surprised to go to um, Maria is not really making effort to mend her relationship with Jojo. I feel like Yes, they, they're going through issues. Uchocho has done what she did, but they were friends. Uchocho, no Maria. I feel like I'm not seeing Maria making an effort to say, listen, you, my friend, you brought me here. Let me see if we can maybe have a sit down and have a conversation about our friendship. You know, I feel like Unonku mostly have had more sit downs than Uchocho, no Maria have have had so i feel like was this even a you know a friendship to begin with it, it just makes me question there i don't feel like she's making an effort even with George and I, she's not making an effort because none of them have initiated that let's let's see if we can understand each other here and anyway so uh the thing that i was glad about was to see Mbali being part of the trip you guys because at some point she had to show up for work okay i was tired of it and um, Bali missing in action so she had to show up for this trip so i'm glad that she's here i'm actually glad that on this trip we have everybody we have usane we have you're not gonna have people that said this person said this about that person but this one is not here to defend herself and all of that so i'm glad that it happened that way so they get there you guys they have a check-in it looks like everything uh, it goes smooth because nobody's fighting about the room nobody's sharing with anybody nonku gets to upgrade her room uh, and she had to call Ucho and tell her because i've upgraded my room okay so that we can hear that she upgraded her room listen i feel like um Unonku last season she watched Usorisha. She was like, Yo, Lonu Tawangutsu, she's going to be the one that always gets her room upgraded. She thinks she's the one that's always going to travel Guma helicopter. Ha! Uzongibona this season. Uzongibona. But it's. I'm glad to see Unonku do, uh, do things like that for herself because she's not even saying to us, Oh, by the way, Arti upgraded a room for me. She's not saying that. She just said, I upgraded my own room, you know, which is also Risha. Uh, because then if uh, it, she was into that competing thing, she might say, you know, 
I've I upgraded my room because that's what Sorisha said last season. Uti, her husband had upgraded her room. Anyway, I don't know if uh, Uncle Viv did upgrade her room this time, but it's it seems like wherever they go, she gets an upgraded room. She just doesn't talk about it, okay? Because Sorisha is not the one that talks about the things that have to do with her being rich, okay? If it was Jojo, you would have known about it. And also, Jojo, why is it that when they travel... Uh, oh, Georgia doesn't seem like she's getting anything extra, especially being somebody that uh, talks about being rich all the time. Am I the only one that feels like that? She never, uh, and we know if her room got upgraded, oh, Georgia, we would know about it. Okay, if she travels in, 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 in some luxury transportation that other people didn't get to have, we would have known about it. So I don't know, you guys, I, I, I'm confused by that. I'm confused by that. Okay, especially her being the one that talks so much about being rich. So, of course, when they get there, they're already hungry. They've already been complaining about it. I honestly think that uh, they should have thought about the food situation, whether the crew or uh, Usli, because she's acting like she's the one that ho that is hosting. Then they should have thought about the, the food situation on their way there because it, it sounded to me like they said that they traveled the whole day to get to nice night. So I'm just feeling like they should have thought about the food. So when they get there, they're already hungry. They were welcome drinks there. We didn't see them eat. Maybe they didn't feel like they wanted to shoot. They were tired or something. So we didn't really uh, see them. Uh, if when they got there, they got anything to eat. But we saw them get like the welcome drinks and, and everything. So they get to their rooms. They show Jojo uh, talking about the fact that there is no gift um, in her room. Listen, you guys, I did not expect that they were going to have gifts because I think that even though the trip is the production trip, but if you are maybe selected as the person that is going to be the host, I would think that you are probably the one that would think about the gift situation, you know, to say good because Jojo did say she spent her own money to buy the gift. So I would think that you would be the one to think about the gift situation. And it just wouldn't make sense for uh, Usli in one episode for her to be talking about being financially stretched and then in another episode she's buying everybody gifts it just wouldn't make sense i did not expect that they were going to have gifts like expensive gifts when they get there unless those were going to be the trip organized by the place where they were going or the the gifts that were organized by the crew so obviously jojo had something to say about that i can say that nonku ruan and and um and Jojo are not impressed by the hosting, okay? But they don't know yet that it is Lee that is hosting. But I felt like, why is Jojo complaining about hosting when she hosted people at the Drakensberg, uh, left them there without the host, uh, half the time when they had to do activities, she was not there to actually guide them and say, okay, today we're doing this today. You know, she didn't host anything except it was just a name that she is a host, you know. So I didn't feel like really she should complain. You know, how can you complain? Because now we host we host rich. You know, so how can you complain about uh, hosting? So anyway, you guys, when they've said to the Maria decides to go to she wants to take Uruana um, aside for them to have a talk about their friendship, okay? And uh, Uruan always says that he knows Umaria longer than he knows Uchocho, but he seems to be closer to Uchocho than uh, Umaria. Uh, it, it friendship here confuses me. Who introduced who to who? Okay, so Maria was worried about the fact that they don't seem to be close to to each other, and but he she still really loves Uruan, and Ruan said the same. I love you too. You are still my friend, and all of that. And then Maria was like, it's just that I don't understand why you still want to spend time with the people that like to hate other people, which I think it's Jojo and uh, Nongu. Okay. And I was all for Umaria trying to fix her relationship with Uruan, but I didn't understand why she had to mention George. Like, if you go on to fix your relationship with Ruan, fix your relationship with Ruan. And because it makes things difficult for Ruan, he's already in the middle. We are telling Ruan is always crying, you guys. And now you're putting him in a difficult situation. Honestly, you guys, I don't know if it's wrong for me to say that I, I, I like the addition 
of a gay guy in the show but i don't know if ruan is that guy because we are the too much is he's overly sensitive we are color about everything i feel like i just want you know you know some uh, a, a gay brother that is going to come and just ate some spies you know and gossip here and there and you know i, I we had the demo run for me you guys i like i like him but i just feel like for the show i don't know you guys i'm just tired of seeing him cry now and then <laughs> about every he cries about every jojo cries and then ruan cries and i'm like i can't take it anymore why are they part of the show anyway ruan expresses that she really loves uh U U maria too but also when she feels like U maria wants her wants him to move away from a friendship here cannot jojo you know and yeah, now when she sees with George, no, no, go, she just sees two happy friends and she doesn't see any problem with the two of them. So it's a difficult thing for him, for him to know what to do when it comes to, you know, maneuvering their friendship between Uchocho and you know, Maria, which, you know, it makes sense. I don't think we'll go to long term. Ruan will be able to maintain a friendship with both of them. I've seen Ama lives, got George. George does a lot of lives, and Ulokuzu Ruan will be there. And sometimes George would say some shady things about Maria while Ruan is there, and she he doesn't call her on that. Goes, no, don't say that about my friend. He doesn't. So I feel like at some point, the friendship with Maria is going to end for that reason, because obviously when they are together. Uh, they are shading Umaria, you know. So at some point, I, I don't think that it's gonna work for him to be friends with both of them, especially since I don't feel like there is a plan for them to fix uh, their friendship. Okay. So and then we did get a, a cute scene where Usli was trying to call her kids from home because obviously they're there. They're just trying to find out if everybody is okay at home. The kids are trying to give her advice. Good maunga kulu miga kulu. Try to fix some fresh. But I thought that was a cute scene. Honestly, I love Sli's girls. It's all every time that they come around to shoot a scene. It's a cute scene. Uh, so that was great to actually see them. Uh, that conversation between them trying to get their mothers to calm down. Remember you are there to build uh, friendships so you know uh, think about what you're saying and all of that you know I like it when they think they can give us advice about life you know <laughs> life that they haven't lived themselves so yes you guys it was a cute scene so overall you guys the traveling was uneventful okay <laughs> the arrivals was you know uneventful but it does not mean that this episode was uneventful because we've got some event. <laughs> we've got an eventful, was it supper or dinner or lunch that we're going to talk about in the next part of the review. But that was it for now, you guys. I did like the attempt at Maria in this part of the, epi uh, of the episode to try and fix her relationship with Ruan. But I do think that she needs to separate her relationship with Ruan from her relationship uh, with uh, Uchojo, okay? But clearly, even in the traveling, you guys, you can see the divisions in the group. So we knew that it's coming. Okay, drama is coming. So make sure that you catch the next uh, part of the review so that you can, we can talk about the drama. Okay. Anyway, you guys, please like the video before Upo Megiona. Share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers. Ginitanda Kakun.